today we're going to ohm out the hot source igniter on the Toyotomi stove. It's important that we ohm the igniter out to make sure that the igniter is operating at its factory manufactured specifications. And the only way to do that is with our multimeter. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to unplug the Toyo stove. It's really important that we unplug the Toyo stove because it's the only way we know for sure that the stove has no power in it. Here's our hot source igniter. It's located mid burner pot and it does have our nice wiring clip right here. So for our test with our stove unplugged, it'll be very, very easy to go ahead and open this connection up right here and we'll be able to take our test. Now that we have the hot source igniter isolated from the main circuit board, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn our multimeter on and we're gonna go ahead and shift this on over to ohms and we know we're in ohms because we have the little upside down horseshoe right there. Now we're gonna to touch our two leads together right here and we should get pretty close to 0.00, .00 so we know that we're good. We got our power on, we go ahead and come right on in here and we just stick our probes gently in there and we're getting our reading right there and here we are, we have our 16 ohms of resistance and we're looking between 16 and 18 ohms of resistance at room temperature. So we know that this igniter is exactly at factory spec. On some of the other products that we have, we will need to disconnect the red wires, which is the G terminal from the main circuit board in order to do our test. Right here in front of us is a main circuit board out of a older Toyotomi stove. This is for a laser 56, laser 73. In order to get our measurement, we're gonna to need to go ahead and unplug our Molex pin connector right here. And we can see that it does have the G terminal on it and also on our board, it also has the G terminal right here to help us with that. Now that we've unplugged this and we have this isolated, we can go ahead and do our resistance reading. Here we have our multimeter, we've got it turned on. We're gonna to check to make sure that it's operating like it should, it is. Then we can just very easily slip the probes down the back side of the clip where the wires are and get our reading of our hot source igniter. And here once again, we're reading that 16 to 17 ohms of resistance at room temperature. So we know that this hot source igniter is within the manufacturer's specified guidelines. We can have other issues going on with igniters, such as this one right here, where we have gone and we have burnt the backside of this off right here. And what always surprises me about this is even as ugly looking as this igniter is, Look at when we take our multimeter and we come right on the back side of this, just like we did on the other one, and we take that resistance reading, this igniter is reading within the factory specifications. So we've checked the circuitry inside this igniter, which is good, but yet this igniter is not a viable igniter because of the back side right here. And this is how you ohm out all Toyotomi igniters.